What's up, Billy? Don't come to this city. Don't visit. This is not the city of brotherly love. I'll never come here again. I won't be back in the city. Well, it. Everybody has to put the blame on Philadelphia, but they don't ever want to blame themselves for what they did. They are so mad that you can't help them. It's in one ear and right out the other. The line is over there. He just told me to come two windows down. All right, well, there's no one working at this window, so you can step over there. The female stated there's no one working here. Apparently, she's not doing nothing. I will never come back up here. They told us in front of the hotel. We parked in front of the hotel to take the luggage in there. And we'll come back out of the car's gone. We're from Atlanta. We're trying to get it to the airport now and go home. Okay. There's no one working here, and she's not doing nothing. This is crazy. We're about to miss our flight. Our flight's at 5. I don't think we're going to make it, though. 235. We're probably going to make it. I just know I want to back home. <laughs> this ain't Atlanta. Gotta get away somehow. At least they give you a boot in Atlanta. Here, they take the whole car. Can I help you? Now, you got the rental car, correct? Correct. I'm from Atlanta. I have a 5 o'clock flight. That's what I'm trying to hurry. Oh, OK. Well, let me try and get you out of here as fast as I can. Take this. You're going to get escorted to your car. You're going to grab the rental agreement and the insurance and the registration and just bring it back into me. Do I have to stand back in line? Yes. I have a final clock flight. I'll try and rush this process, but if there's other people in line, I can't let you butt in front of them. Right now, it looks like there's about eight people ahead of him. He's got to get to the airport by 5 o'clock. Let's see how this process goes. When you rented the car. I have my own insurance. You have your own insurance. Correct. You had that card with you? No. You're going to have to call your insurance company and have them fax it to you. Damn. Hey, how are you doing today? I need a fax to 215. This is crazy. I need to fight ASAP as if possible. This is the third time I've been here. It's always something crazy. Brotherly love here, no love here. You either get towed, you get a boot. Somebody stole the car the first time I was here. State Farm is faxing over the insurance part. As soon as it comes over, I will call you up here. But when you rent a rental car, you have to have proof of insurance. Right. I don't think a rental car company such as Hertz will allow you to get a car yeah. without insurance. So what else has to be done? I have to wait for the insurance to come over. <laughs> this is going to take him a while to get out of here because nelly has got to get the insurance faxed over. You're also going to have a ticket. <laughs> $41 on the ticket. I'm not coming back here. Philly is, I'm done with it. I won't be back. No I will not come back. I won't come back. This is my third time here and my last. I will never come back up here. Atlanta, I'll stay. I ain't coming back. Forever I love Atlanta. Philly can forget it. I'm gonna write this guy a ticket. He's in a no stopping bus turns. If he's here, he's not good. This is some Yeah, he's moving. Now he is. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Usually it's F this, F you, you know, see you later. My personal favorite, I like the meter maid. Yo, meter maid. Meter maid. This is life, man. This is the street. I try to be the nicest guy, but sometimes people don't care who you are. They'll, they'll come at you. No, cheat. One quarter gave me 15 minutes. The other quarter didn't give me anything. Oh, you put money in this one? I put four quarters in it, and three times I got 15 minutes out of the whole thing. I'm just gonna take the meter number down. I'm gonna bring it in at the end of the day. If you do receive a ticket, 
You called a number on the bottom of the ticket, give them this meter number. Request that it's a broken meter, which I'm going to do. They'll see. Something must be wrong here. And then I won't have to go to court? No, nah, this should all be done over the phone. You definitely won't have to go to court. I put uh, one quarter in, nothing. I put another quarter in, it said 15. I put two more dimes in, nothing. And then you, what happens is, this guy's a nice guy, what happens is uh, you get a parking ticket and it's like you have to pay the 20 bucks because who in the world wants to go here? You waste three hours because I've been to parking court. It's, it's just, it takes a lot of time off. That's pretty accurate. Thanks. When I help out another citizen, I'm satisfied, you know? They gave me a ticket. They gave me a ticket. Just like, you know, I don't know if it was you, you said they wouldn't give me a ticket. Then the lady comes by and says to call a certain number. They said to call another number. I've been on hold for 20 friggin' minutes. This is I, uh, Sir. No, this is It is, yeah. It's well, ridiculous. You just want to wear me down, so I pay the god darn 28 I told you. This is I told you you might receive a ticket. I did. Yeah, and then you told you gave me a number, and then the lady there gave me a friggin' number. I'm only doing my job. That's You're doing your job. All you idiots just do your job. You want to wear us down. I'm getting screwed because I'm I'm the consumer. What am I supposed to do? See, everybody's cheering me. I could be mayor of this damn town. <laughs> this is this is what I can do. I can tell you to call the number on the bottom, give them the meter number, tell them the meter's broken. It happens How every day. How am I supposed day. to tell them? Nobody's coming on. You're on hold. I'm on hold. I've been on hold for a half hour. Why isn't anybody answering this crap? <laughs> and all you can do is laugh. Well, you're acting, you're acting really, you know, insane. Oh, well, why don't I just pay you the $26? No. I'm going to let you go. you got to deal with that. That's you're your responsibility. You're not going to tell me what number to That's call. You're not going to tell me what to do. I told do. you what number to call. The number on the bottom of the ticket. This is... I already told you what you got to do. Well, I'm doing it. Well, then do it. All then right. you have another friggin' number? You have, an, you have a nice day, sir. All right. Take care. Say I'm screwed. What can I do? I'm at their mercy. You know, he don't, he don't want to hear what I have to say, and what I have to say is only going to help him. No, cheat. Yes, you know I'm right. The meter was busted. Yeah. Why would I rip off the And seat? I know, and I'm going to help you out the best I can. But Why I, you're not helping me out? That's all the information I can give you. That's all you know? Yeah. Do you even have a high school degree? Yeah, I do. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I've been on hold a half yeah. hour now. You Sorry, I got, I got a patrol. You, you, gotta, you gotta take care of your responsibilities. We know that. This is We got one. I don't know if somebody's gonna come running out. I have a feeling that, uh, that he's in that uh, bar there. Right across the street. Hurry up and get the boots on. trying to get a hit. The uh, owner of the vehicle drove off with the device. The device is still attached to a car. It's heading south on 29th Street from Lehigh. As far as we know, the boot's still attached to the vehicle. Sir, you and your partner OK? 10-4, but I'm trying to come down the street and see if uh, the device fell off. We're looking for it now. Hey, Garfield. Well, we can look right back here, Garfield. We just look and, and see if we see any boots laying on the ground or look for the car. Maybe we'll find it. Usually, they stick out a big yellow device. A lot of times, people get in their car but don't actually drive off. But this guy just, he floored it. I can't believe it. It can be a little bit discouraging having somebody get away like that. I don't think we're finding it. I had the device on about hand tight. I hadn't put a, really a wrench to it. I just didn't want Garco getting hurt, so that's why I was telling him to get up. We catch him again, and he's going to owe much more probably than the car is worth. But there's a good chance that we'll never catch him, because he'll change his tag. After a stunt like that, he knows that we'll be after him, so. 
Sir, do we need to make a uh, police report? Sir, that's just an MI. They're going to make the necessary report when they come back. 10 4, sir. Maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Well, we was trying to hurry up and get this boot because it's just about the end of the day. And we just want to make sure. Garfield. What? That is our boot. What is that our boot? That is our boot. You see that? Our stolen boot from yesterday. The guy is bringing our boot up. Hi. I got a boot. Better than the grass on here. Thank you, sir. Hey, man. I'm going to get at y'all. Thank you. Oh, my. This is the boot that we lost yesterday. It's covered with, looks like, brake fluid. He probably broke his brake line, but uh, we do appreciate anybody who returns a boot. I could be a gangster and still do good stuff. Um, we got a hit. I don't know where today. Oh, I hope it ain't that thing. Oh. It is. Oh, well. Well, it's a little damaged, but it's a fairly new car. Oh, Garfield, what well, you, you gonna put the hood down? Yeah, I'm gonna put the hood down. <laughs> yeah, it's an ugly car. I just think that's crazy. They, they just be going around parking, taking people's car ain't going nowhere. They can put a boot on it anyway. <laughs> Gonna boot it. Did you understand what she was saying? Because I sure did. Pay all your tickets before they come through and boot your. <laughs> that's it. All right, I got heavy hit. Okay. George thing. Paul Victor. I think them girls had just got out of here. I'm not for sure, Garfield. <laughs> I don't know. So, Only on one ticket. You and these old three, and each of them is six months old. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. You have at least three unpaid old tickets. Please, please, right. I'm gonna check. You, I only I'll... got this one ticket. Did somebody else drive this car? I was away for like two weeks, and my brother had it. Let me give you the information because you are on the boot list. And For real? It, yeah. And you were standing over there talking to us and yeah, you didn't know. That's what All I right, didn't hold know. on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What you need to do, call this number. You pay one of them off, you're off the boot list. So, you know, your brother might have got the tickets and Blast. he didn't tell you about it. My partner said, I think those, that's the car those girls just got out of. Yeah. <laughs> I said, really? He has weakness for the young ladies. I'm going to go pay that one ticket. <laughs> my brother was driving my car, and I think he got some tickets that I know about. I only know about one that I got there, and it takes three tickets. <laughs> I was ready to drive off. <laughs> she could have pulled off anyway, but since she was right there, we, you know, there's no reason to have a confrontation with somebody if it's not necessary. 41 on location. Another live stop. Please pull somebody over. We're gonna pick up this car. It was a stop sign that's blocked right there. I have insurance, I have a driver's license, but my registration I just got the title for, I didn't get a chance to get to the tag place yet. And now they're towing my car with my two twin boys that are four years old. But you could let me drive away with a ticket for no registration, right? No. no? OK. Now he's got to go get his car registered and uh, see if he gets his car back. He has a pretty nice car, so he's probably going to come back for it. OK, guys, let's go walk into the L now. All right, the back looks nice and look out the Come on, let's go. The vehicle wasn't registered. It's just protocol for us to live stop at that point. Can't let him drive away with it. We'll take the L back home. Thank you. Stop signs blocked up there. I got two young kids in the car. I'm not gonna be all right. They're, they're walking the down there. It's sad to see, you know, you had two kids. It's cold out, but he knows the deal. When your car's not registered, you can't drive it. So if they were to let him go, him cops would have gotten big trouble, or maybe lose her job. I feel bad for towing some cars. Like that, I feel bad because there's two kids in the car. You know, it's cold out. But then I don't feel bad because I know I'm getting these cars that are illegal off the street.